welcome back everyone in this live development video about auto battlers in this video we're going to ch fix up a few things about our grid system uh, for uh, swapping units and also for uh, this outline bug and other things so first things first uh, it's quite easy to fix the outline bug so when we drop the units if we do not have a focus square we're going to unfocus the moving units so that's pretty easy and we're going to do it real quick get moving units and focus that set focused nope no longer focused that one and it should do the trick oh wait, it's not oh yeah because we're checking if it's valid we need to check if it's not valid like that yep so we're no longer focusing that unit but if we drop it we're still focusing it so that's the first things we had to fix second thing is to be able to swap so when we drop when we step moving the units if the square we are we have contains the units we need to know what is the origin of that unit so we're going to store that when we start moving units we're going to grab the focus square we're going to promote that to a variable and it's going to be initial moving square uh, initial square we move we are moving to basically like that so when we stop moving the units if the square we are focusing as a unit gets unit in square uh, we're going to need uh, for now we're just going to call that uh, move units to initial uh, reverse unit position uh, in square in units for four units in square in square like this so when we stop moving unit we're going to reverse unit positions like that initial moving square so when we do that what do we do we say the unit position is equal the square location plus 50 uh, I'm tired of doing this so so when we move the units we're moving it here okay so I'm I'm going to do it one more time okay 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 so we teleport the units to the tile teleport and what else do we do we're going to say set hosted units is equal to that unit yep so it's working right away well we had something strange going on oh, what was strange was the position of our cursor actually yep so it seems to be working and one last thing I wanted to do with that system uh, is uh, what we ca what, what we can call 
uh, an oil system. By oil, I mean a system which fluidifies, fastens the, um, the speed at which you handle units. You, you, uh, the speed at which you you handle the game, the, you, you manipulate the game. Oh, there is a bug. There are two tiles uh, with the same units in in memory. Reverse unit position is is throwing errors at us. So when we stop moving the unit, okay, okay, I know what's wrong. If we are overing a square without the units, we're going to reverse the unit position. If not, we're not going to do that. And it's not going to be called unit to as unit to focus. It's going to be called is there unit in focused square. Uh, it's a bit long, but for now it's going to do the trick. So the thing I, I wanted to do regarding oil. Oh, we still have bugs. So first I, I'm going to finish on the oil uh, we're going to build a system that automatically detects which square is the sh is the closer to our cursor when we are out of it and it's going to update it so this way when I do that it's going to move the units uh, down the squares like I would I it would be at the same way like this and like this so we have a problem where a unit is located on several squares at once and I'm not sure why do we have the bug at the beginning of the game yeah we do have it and I think I okay so the bug might be coming only from the units themselves when they f when they are finding their square hopefully oh no okay I know where the bug comes from we have stored the information that the unit were on the squares once and it fails to reset so I think if I do this and that oh the, the bug does not come from that okay else elsewise it would it would have, uh, I would have vanquished the bug by replacing them but apparently it does not come from that so when I when I over there when I over a square it says that there is a unit to focus so we're trying to get the hostage unit so this means that when we unfocus a square Now it means that when we stop moving a unit, when we start moving a unit, we fail to empty the square. It's kind of strange. We're emptying that. We're just going to delete them. Yep, we're going to delete them. We're going to move that and we're going to add them r once again yeah that's kinda problematic do we still have the bug? No we no longer do okay so the bug was coming from the construction script of our of our units we're going to try something based by saying that the unit does not run the construct the 
the CS script and drag. We're going to see if we can move them. Yeah, we can move them. And now we're going to have the bug once again. Yep. It's going to consider that the unit is at two locations at once. And so this comes from our unit and we don't want that. So we're going to store that. It's going to be called initial square. And we're going to call, whenever we do that, we're going to call our initial sphere, set hosted units, and we're going to empty that. And I think it should do the trick. If we dele delete the units, this is going to say it has two references, which is not correct. If we drop the units, if it's play, we should not have any bugs. Yep. Okay, and now, oh, we even have an error. What does it say? Get focus square. That's quite strange. When we start moving units, we necessarily have a focus square since we started moving from a place. That's quite strange. Start moving units can only happen if we have we can stop moving units if we're not dragging and we're not moving. Okay, so that that's that might be the bug. If we click when we have, yeah, yeah, yeah. So I clicked four four times. So if we click and we're not moving, so this is the test we we are actually. If we are moving, if we're not moving. Is there units in focus square? We're trying to get the focus square, but it's not. Yeah, yeah. So, do we have a focus square actually? Elsewise, we do nothing. So we should. Oh, I didn't want to. Yeah. Yeah, I forgot. I I had it. Uh, another shortcut which is a uh, comma uh, in a French in in French keyboards or in English keyboard maybe it, it, it's M I believe so when I press M it starts the game so I can and I have to click once the, the window to be able to use P the P key and and it's worrying me so we should not have any bugs anymore but we have to check one more time by doing this, if we do that, do we still have the bug? Uh, yeah, we do. So the logic we built in the unit clearing, so this is not working. So I think one of the way will be to just rerun that logic in begin play so I think maybe we do that but it won't clear yeah yeah, yeah but we're going to clear the square the square is going to clear itself in construction script of all hosted units so we're just going to add that to a function called um, update role at relative locations.
so by clearing we're getting rid of the bug I think and does it know it has a unit yes it does so we got rid of the bug so that's a good thing uh, so I wanted to take care of the fact that when I press M to start the game I cannot press P because I don't have the focus on the window so we're going to fix that really easily but for that I think we just need widgets as oddly as it seems so we're just going to create in the in-game controller we're going to create a new function cre called create in-game add this is going to be located in the interface category in there we're going to create a widget which is going to be one of the widgets we created in-game add the controller is going to be itself we're going to add that to the screen and then what are we going to do we're going to set UI mode and game focus of that controller we're not going to hide the cursor and we're going to call that on begin play we want to create the in-game add when we press M to start the game we can press P right away yep because we know have we now have the focus on the on the window so what do we want to do now we want to say if we have no tile focus if we have no tile focus instead of unfocusing the square we want to draw we want to create a new func function to find closest square where we grab our cursor location we draw a raycast we do a line trace by channel we want to look for focus from our cursor location to Mm -hmm. where to the last grid we hovered ah, it's, going, it's going to be a tough decision because wonder what if we have several grids and what grid should it find the closest location to like the last one you hovered we hovered or always the battlefield this is a tough this is again this decision and I haven't made up my mind so uh, what is going to be what it is going to be well since I haven't made up my mind I won't be doing that in this video we're going to remain out of I it's going to remain out of the way for now so find closest square is going to get removed and I just want to try out what happen if I grab the grid and make two of them then add this in here this guy in there and this guy in there if I press play I think I can move them from a grid to another it won't care yeah it doesn't care but it's not necessarily stylish and if we remove remove the option snap move what does it do it fails it stops to it stop to it stops to move the unit and we sh it should not do that i think if we do not have a focus square
And what if we do this? Yeah, we're going to throw errors when we do not have a focus square and we are in snap move. I don't remember why we had it that one. I th I think I do actually. Yeah, that was to avoid throwing errors. Yep, like that. So th this is the thing throwing errors. I think because the select node al always uses both of the parameters even if we have a false which uses only this one yeah so I think the cheat here is to say that this is going to be a, a local variable called um, square temp lock and if we have focus square no in any case we do this oh we yeah we have to do that or it will throw error if we try to grab the location of a invalid actor so like that So if we are a snap moving and we do not have a square, I think I think in here we want we want the cursor location, I think. So we have no errors and if we say we are a snap move, it is going to follow our cursor when we go out and it's going to snap once again when we reach the tile the, the, the grid so it's way better behavior yeah wha way better behavior okay all right then all right then i think it's going to wrap up that video Hope you guys enjoyed it and hope to see you in the next one. Bye-bye.